of hearing. If you're 13 years old or over, uh, just step right up, buy your ticket. This is your chance to do something good for your community. One dollar. Why don't you want to know this thing? I hear the Harvest King gets all the Harvest Babes. No thanks, I've got a life. Don't, don't miss your chance to see the eerie wolf. Marshall, guess who's back? I wasn't the only one who thought this Harvest King hoopla was for the birds. I hadn't seen that weird kid with the gray hair since our little adventure with the ghost of Grungy Bill. I could tell he wasn't somebody to mess with. It seems we were the only two guys not buying lottery tickets. Why? Did he know something I didn't? The Harvest King gets all sorts of dorky prizes, but then he must go out into the woods during a full moon until he catches a glimpse of the mysterious, eerie wolf. What I wanted to know was, how come there's no such thing as an ex-Harvest King? I mean, why do they have this lottery thing every 13 years, and what's with the dumb wolf? There's nothing dumb about a wolf. They are the most intelligent and cunning of animals. If the Harvest King is able to see the eerie wolf, not only will Erie have a big harvest, we'll have 13 years of good luck and low taxes. It's tradition. Not only that, Mars, they put your face on the wall. You'll be a hero. And what do you think of the Harvest King tradition? Oh, Mr. Cheney, the day our son was selected, the 1979 Harvest King... ...was the happiest day of our lives. Yeah, but where's your son now? He's, He's in, in Spain. Spain. You see that, Mars? He even won a trip to Europe. Yeah, right. Let's go. Hey, you! Thought I told you to stay away from here. Get out of here! Hey! And don't come back, you prematurely gray little sneak! Who is that? It's a long story. Kid keeps scrounging around here for food to nervous some people. I couldn't help but wonder who would be the next harvest sucker? That night, behind closed doors, the powers that be chose the Harvest King. You know, Winston, I was thinking, maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. Watch your mouth. We have no choice. The lottery's traditional. In case you haven't noticed, there's a recession out there. Hmm. Seeing the airy wo wolf could really turn things around. But haven't you guys ever wondered why the Harvest King always disappears. Coincidence? Look, we have to pick somebody. Otherwise, all the crops will fail. What about that sneaky kid with the, uh, with the hair? Yeah, I did catch him shoplifting today. Give me a blind ticket. He's perfect. No one will miss him. What's his name? Yeah, nobody seems to know. I'll just put the kid with the gray hair. Here. Come on, let's get home. We're showing the howling on cable tonight. The howling, I love that movie. does it make? Read it. And the lucky winner is our very own boy from New Jersey, Marshall Teller. Me? I won? 
Wait a minute. Wait, what's going on here? I didn't even enter. I couldn't believe it. I never won anything in my life, let alone a lottery I didn't even enter. All of a sudden, everybody near it, farmers, store owners, even cute girls and total strangers, wanted to be my friend. <clears throat> On behalf of the farming community in Erie, we'd like to congratulate you for winning the Erie Lottery. As a token of our gratitude, we'd like to give you this cow. Uh, cow? Uh-huh. Uh, Mom? Thank you. Is it she a beauty? Yeah. That's a lovely animal. Thank Hello, you very baby. much. Come on in, everybody. Oh, yeah. Which one is Marsha Teller? <gasps> Maybe being Harvest King isn't so bad. I mean, who am I to turn down a kingship? I am so proud. Uh, me too. <laughs> I, I, I think, is, is that cow house broken? Ah, uh, young Mr. Teller, it's time to go to Wolf Mountain to see the eerie wolf. <laughs> but while my family and I were raking in the loot, that gray-haired kid was in the library looking through 13-year-old copies of the eerie examiner. Next thing I knew, it was my turn to go up on Wolf Mountain with Mr. Cheney. I wanted to see the mysterious, eerie wolf, but I also wanted to see tomorrow. Hey, mister, can I take off the goofy hat? No. It's tradition. Oh, great. Jeez, it's kind of cold up here, It's also huh? traditional not to talk. Sorry. It'll scare the wolf. What's that? Candy. Tradition is very clear on this. You can't eat up here. The wolf. The wolf doesn't like it. The wolf doesn't like it? What's that? Look, I don't care what tradition says. I'm gonna stay in touch with my pal Simon, okay? Okay. Yo, Simon, is that you? Over. Morris, are you there? Are you there? I'm lost. I can't find you. Yo, Simon, I can't hear you. Simon, I can't hear you. Come in, Mars. Come in. Come on, Mars. Where are you? So, uh, how long have you been doing this Harvest King thing? Long time. Oh. So is the wolf really as scary as they say? Worse. So, what exactly happened to all the guys that saw the wolf before? Uh, they're in Spain. Oh. Yo, Simon, are you there? Simon, I'm on station at Wolf Base One. There's a high chance of mega weirdness. Try to stay in contact. Mm -hmm. That means he's coming. Yo, Simon, come in. Put that thing away. Mr. Cheney, are you okay? Okay, if you're trying to scare me, it's working. Now cut it out. <laughs> Suddenly, I was nose to nose with something so ugly, my heart nearly exploded. In its eyes, I saw only one thought. Dinner time. It's you. Well, it ain't the log lady. Thanks, man. You saved my life. Don't get used to it. Don't. Hey. Anybody. Marshall, you're alive! Wow, is that the eerie wolf? 
More like the airy wolf man. That's why there's a lottery. Feed the werewolf, get 13 years of luck. And low taxes. Kind of a hairy sucker, ain't he? What are you doing here? Check out these newspaper clippings. It says here that the last five winners of this harvest dude lottery, they all went to Spain. Kind of a coincidence, don't you think? A small cover-up. Yeah, you got it, pal. If I hadn't have gotten here sooner, you'd be werewolf kibble by now. <laughs> People wonder why I have gray hair. Marshall, look! Your arm! He got me. The werewolf got me. <sighs> but you quit whining, it's just a flesh wound. Don't you know what this means? Next full moon, I could turn into him. It. After a few more whacks with the log to make sure he didn't wake up, we lugged the werewolf down to my house. The good news was my parents didn't wake up. The bad news was the werewolf had slashed me. Yeah, that should hold him. Sure is ugly. Uh, now what do we do? I still say we put a stake right through his heart. That's for vampires. Besides, I need to talk to this guy. Talk about what? You've seen those old Wolfman flicks. As soon as this guy wakes up, he ain't gonna remember anything. I say, put him out of his misery, sell his sorry carcass to the zoo, and split the profits. I'm telling you, he's my werewolf, and he's staying right here. Look, this is not just a monster. This is guaranteed fast cash. All we have to do is call the Inquirer. We'll be famous. We're not calling anybody. This thing scratched me. I gotta find out if that means I'm gonna turn into a werewolf, too. Think we should call a doctor? Simon, he's a werewolf. An animal. Should we call a vet? I've got an idea. Listen, you stay with the werewolf. No, 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 no. This critter's half mine. I go where you go. All right. Simon, you stay with the werewolf. If he comes to, kabong him. Whatever you do, don't let my sister or my parents find him. Got it. What's the plan? We're going to pay the powers that be a little visit. Uh, by now, our little harvest king is halfway to Spain. Ah, uh, to uh, 13 more years of good luck and uh, low taxes. I'm the mayor who delivered it to Erie. Boy, if this doesn't give me the farm boat, nothing will. Marshal Teller. Mayor Chisel, we got to talk. Yeah, and we won't take no for an answer, unless, of course, you'd rather you talk to Geraldo first. <laughs> uh, does he have to do that? Every 13 years, Erie offers one of its own citizens to a werewolf. For what, Chisel? Better harvest? Low taxes? Is that worth it? Put the hardware down, and we'll talk. Listen, boys, you have no idea what Erie was like before this lottery was started. Yeah, but you're feeding people to a werewolf. Marshall, <laughs> there's no such thing as werewolves. Look, I'm going to blow the whistle on you. After today, everyone in the area is going to know. Know what? Some wild story about a werewolf from a couple of kids? You have no evidence. Yeah, but all those guys disappeared the same day that... It, 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 it is a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I get it. You don't want to know, do you? Look, guys, deep inside, everybody in Erie has their doubts, but nobody talks about it. And as long as people don't talk about it, everything's A-OK, -okay and everyone's happy. Well, I'm going to talk about this. And I know plenty of people who are going to listen. You're dreaming, kid. This town, heck, <laughs> this whole country has a long tradition of looking the other way. The Warren Commission, Watergate, Iran-Contra, the October Surprise, uh, Erie's Harvest King. Now, people don't want to know about this stuff, because if they knew about it, they might have to do something about it. So wake up and smell the coffee, kiddo. You're on your own. Yeah, if you really believe in werewolves, I'd be more worried about that little scratch on your arm. Oh! <laughs> See you around, kid. Better stock up on flea powder. You too, Radford? It's a... Uh, it's a tradition.
Come on, Marshall. Hurry up. I'm hungry. Stay here. apple pie again um yeah yeah well we took care of it just just go just go get some sleep uh, go get some beauty rest uh, 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 i'm fine guys i'm i'm fine i ain't afraid of no werewolf where's the werewolf he went out that door we gotta stop him but how how do you stop a werewolf how do you stop a werewolf according to the 1992 werewolf companion you shoot him with a silver bullet, of course. You heard what you said, Marshal. I'm not looking the other way anymore. Let's go bag a werewolf. When that's done, I'm taking aim at this Warren Commission thing. Yes! So that night, we went werewolf hunting, having decided the best thing to do was end this once and for all. The only thing we didn't know was whether the silver bullet would really work or not. I mean, they work in the movies. This was real life. You must be close by. I'm just a little nervous. I have only one silver bullet. If I miss... I hear something. There he is! Get him, Edgar! Get him! Shoot him! Come on, hurry up! Don't miss! You only have one shot! Wait, don't shoot! What's going on? It's Jamie. What am I doing here? You're not gonna believe this, Mr. Cheney, but you're a werewolf. There he goes again. I do say so myself. Come on, you guys, give me a hand. We did it. We shot the werewolf with the silver bullet. Okay, so we just winged him, but we cured Mr. Cheney. He'll never again turn into this mega ugly monster, terrifying eerie every 13 years. But what about me? That was Radford's only silver bullet. Who was gonna cure me? As soon as we took care of Cheney, we raided the world of stuff for anything that might cure me of turning into a werewolf. Two scoops of the freeze-dried liver of an Amazonian vampire bat. <laughs> yum, yum. Two scoops. Ah, we'll use it all. All right, now, a quart of fresh chicken blood. Good blood. You don't expect me to drink that, do you? All right, this will make you right as rain, if it doesn't kill you first.
lap in Paler's eyeball. Careful, those are hard to come by. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Guys, we're just wasting our time. I'm doomed to being a teenage boy. <laughs> Bottoms up, Marsh. <laughs> I didn't quite escape the effects of my encounter with the werewolf. The next night, there was a full moon and something strange happened to me. Good thing it was just a scratch. Think my parents will notice? Knowing your parents? Nah. Well, if they do, I'll just chalk it up to puberty. Puberty? Now that's eerie. Just wait till it's your turn. <laughs>